Are you also tired of Minecraft just lagging or not running at the most FPS that you could possibly make it run at? Then this is the perfect video for you because in this one, I'm gonna show you real quick how to increase your FPS and fix those annoying lag spikes. Before we get started, hit that thumbs up if you're already enjoying this video. Also hit that big red subscribe button down below as well as the bell right next to it if you're into this type of content and want to see it pop up on your homepage more often. And then without any further ado, here's how to optimize Minecraft to run much better. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, wait, Daniel, are you here again? Aren't we supposed to switch over to our PC to, you know, optimize Minecraft? Yes, we're going to be doing that in just a second. But before that, hear me out. You are going to want to install a mod called Sodium because by just having it installed, it will just increase your FPS dramatically. In some cases, it will double the FPS that you have right now. Check out the video that will pop up in the top right corner right now to learn how to install Sodium. It's fairly easy. And after installing that, you can still follow the steps that I will show you in this video, but you'll already have more FPS and less lag by just having a mod called Sodium installed. So now it is time to get started optimizing Minecraft itself. So the first thing you do obviously is open up your Minecraft launcher. And now depending on what profile you're gonna be using or whether you installed Sodium, that is the profile that we're gonna be optimizing before we even click this play button. So go over to installations right here and if you've just installed Sodium using Fabric, then click the three little dots right here and click edit. If you're gonna be using regular Minecraft and are just going to be playing the latest release all the time, click the three little dots right here and click edit. This will show you a screen just like this where you click more options and then go over to JVM arguments where it will say XMX2G by default. This is the amount of RAM that is dedicated to Minecraft and we are going to increase this because that is going to make Minecraft run better. So if you only have four gigabytes of RAM in your system, you can crank this up to two and don't go beyond that because it will make Minecraft run slower instead of faster. If you have six gigabytes of RAM in your system, you can go up to 3G right here. If you have up to eight, then you can go 4G. And if you have more than that, I suggest you go with six, but don't go beyond that because it will not help Minecraft and it will only eat up RAM that your Windows or Mac or whatever operating system you are using also needs. Once you've set it to the correct value, just click save right here. And then you can just click play on the profile that you just added more RAM to. So I'm going to click latest release right here, but the settings for sodium and fabric are going to be fairly similar. So you're going to be able to use this tutorial, even if you just installed sodium. Here we are in Minecraft 1.19. As you can see, it lags a little bit and it stutters a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be changing the Minecraft video settings to make Minecraft run much better. So what you can do first is press F3 and check out your FPS. If I'm not moving too much, it's about 120. If I move a lot, it drops down to 68, which I know for many of you guys will still be plenty of FPS, but all oh, 44, that is pretty low. So what we're going to be doing is press F3 again to make it disappear. Press escape to go into the game menu, press options, go into video settings. And these are going to be the settings that we're going to be optimizing real quick. So we're going to have to talk about resolution first, because that is the first setting. And if you're running Minecraft in full screen, it might lag more than if you were to run it in windowed mode. That is because the larger Minecraft is, the fewer FPS you will get. What you can also do is keep it full screen and set the full screen resolution to something pretty low. If you set it to the lowest possible, it's going to look very pixelated, but it's going to run at great FPS. Now it is your job to find a compromise, something that works. A resolution like 1280 by 720 will usually still look very good on full screen, even on a 1080p monitor. So that is one that you could definitely give a try. I like to set this just to current and make the window smaller. That is going to do a lot. It is usually small by default when you launch Minecraft for the first time. But if I go back into Minecraft like this, look at my FPS. It has just gone up to about 100. And now because there's a lot of text on screen because of this F3 menu, it is still not great, but it is much better and it doesn't drop into the 40s of FPS, which is pretty good. So let's go back to the settings right here and look at Biome Blend, which is a setting that does cost a lot of FPS. So if you want the most FPS, you can turn this off and set it to the fastest. If you want to compromise, you can set this to 3x3, three three, which is still fast, but 3x3 three three will not give you the best FPS. But I just want to let you know that the overall best setting is off. Now graphics, it speaks for itself. If you set it to fancy, you're going to get better graphics, so set this to fast. 
Chunk Builder, the one that's gonna stutter the most is fully blocking. The one that works best is Threaded. It is going to make Minecraft look a little bit more funky because it can glitch and it can d make chunks disappear or blocks disappear for a brief moment. But this is definitely the smoothest one. Smooth lighting doesn't really do much, but just to be sure you can turn this off for the most FPS. Now, V-Sync doesn't really work for most people. You can turn it on if it works very well for you. Turn it off if you want the maximum FPS that you can get. The GUI scale is just up to preference. It just resizes to GUI, so you don't really have to even change this setting. Brightness also doesn't do anything, and the same goes for full screen. Of course, like I said, full screen is usually a little more responsive. It will lag less. But because the screen will be much bigger and Minecraft itself will be much bigger, you will have less FPS. Unless, of course, you set the full screen resolution to a very small resolution. Then, mipmap levels. I never really touch mipmap levels because it only makes my game crash and it usually doesn't increase FPS. And then the distortion effects. Obviously, these are effects, so just like with any other game, if you disable the effects, you're going to get more FPS. Same goes for the FOV effects. Now this one doesn't really affect your performance all that much, it just changes the screen FOV once you sprint or something like that, or if you fly an Elytra, but that's pretty much it. So you can disable this for the most FPS, but it won't affect your performance all that much. Now render distance and simulation distance are probably the most important settings, and you're gonna see that if we change these to a very low setting, they're gonna boost our FPS so much, you're probably not even gonna believe this. So if I set the render distance to two chunks and the simulation distance to five chunks, which are the minimum values, it's not going to look very pretty in Minecraft, but look at the result right now. As you can see, we cannot see very far, but I can immediately tell that it is very smooth. And as you can see, I was just getting over a thousand FPS right there. Now that's insane, right? That is really insane. But that's not it yet. Go back to options, video settings, set the max frame rate to unlimited because there's no real reason to limit this. View bobbing is a setting that once again doesn't really do much. It only makes it so that when you walk, the screen wobbles a little bit so it looks like you're actually walking. You can disable this for extra FPS. It doesn't do much, but it might give you one or two extra FPS. The attack indicator is just it's just preference. It doesn't really do much. You can turn it off for the max FPS, but it's such a tiny little indicator that it is probably not going to affect your FPS at all. Then clouds, which are set to fancy right now, they do affect your FPS because they need to be rendered. They're 3D clouds when you set them to fancy. You can also set them to fast for flat clouds if you still really want the clouds and don't want them disabled, but also want more FPS. You can set them to fast, but for the overall best FPS, turn this off. Particles cannot be disabled, so you can only set it to minimal. Entity shadows, obviously shadows will take FPS, so if you disable this, you get more FPS. And then entity distance is the uh, distance at which entities are shown to you and are still gonna be animated and, you know, do stuff. If you set this to 50%, not a lot of entities will be rendered and will actually work and be interactable with, but this will give you the best FPS. And the autosave indicator is probably one that you just want to have enabled because it doesn't really do much. These are the best settings, but they're not the most optimal settings for gameplay. So do keep that in mind if you want better gameplay then be sure to, you know, just play around with these settings, increase the render distance a little bit to something like 4, which is way more playable. It will give you fewer FPS, but at the end of the day, it will make Minecraft more pleasant to play. If I click done now, done again, and back to game, and now I'm going to press F3 right there. I just saw 1,248 FPS right there. 1,370 FPS. So that is the amount of FPS that we are getting after optimizing the video settings in Minecraft. That is pretty insane. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you optimize Minecraft to run at higher FPS. If this video helped you out, then be sure to let me know down below in the comments how many FPS you have before this video or how bad exactly the lag spikes were. And also let me know how many FPS you're getting after watching this video. If the video worked, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this pop up on your homepage more often, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below as well as the bell right right next to it. And then without any further ado, I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya!